So this video is about what happens after awakening. And um, I'm sure that many of you have already experienced awakening and uh, you will be able to compare notes with me uh, because everything I will explain here is coming from the experience that has happened here or you could say that has happened to me but actually you you know if you have awakened already you know that there is no me it's a story right so for a long time you pursue awakening and at some point it happens you know that it happened how you know because you <laughs> you get that the level of that insight is very significant it's life transformative you have realized sometimes in a moment that there is no one here and never was that the whole story of your persona and the development of that individual quotes was just imagination so you during the awakening you see that in the mind body system there are many systems and there is a consciousness there is consciousness looking through it awareness you also realize that that consciousness is undifferentiated meaning that it's the same consciousness that is looking through countless trillions quadrillions of sentient what we call sentient beings but actually they are mind body organisms of different types throughout the whole universe so the the awareness that is looking through your own body mind is undifferentiated now you got this amazing insight it's life transformative it really humbles you hopefully <laughs> right instead of adding to the pride saying oh now i am awakened no the ego never wakes up that's not true the ego never wakes up the ego is seen through during the awakening so awakening happened and then what's next what comes next is the appearance that there is a decision to make that decision is okay awakening happened here i feel complete end of the story end of the spiritual path end of the journey and i will just continue with my life and that my between quotes is not yours <laughs> now the other alternatives alternative is well maybe there is still work to do and uh, i'm willing to do it so this is an apparent decision and i have seen people taking making one decision or the other but i highly recommend that you don't stop you keep going after awakening what needs to be done after awakening the ego that was seen through as a fake self little self as a fake entity not an entity that has a consciousness but actually no more than thoughts and feelings which means it's like a, an ego a, a, a psychic mass of thoughts and feelings intertwined that ego during awakening often is sub substantially reduced but not too much it can still that psychic mass may will be hanging in there 
And the work that comes afterwards is to keep reducing it, because it still has power, although it has been seen through as a, f a fake self, still it has the power to bring you back into identification and create suffering. So this apparent decision, because there is no one that is going to make it, but there is a the appearance that somebody will make it, I recommend that you take it seriously and you continue the work. Towards what? Towards liberation, complete liberation from suffering. Is it possible? To attain that, you would probably have to completely eliminate the ego, so that there will be never any trace of suffering. Is it possible to reduce the psychic mass completely and to get rid of it? I don't know. I suspect it's not possible. However, it is definitely possible to reduce it. And every time you reduce that psychic mass, especially in the areas that are where it's hurting the most, uh, you are moving forward towards greater and greater and greater freedom. So this decision needs to be made. When awakening happened here, I went through the same process and I decided to continue working with my teacher, the same teacher that had helped me to wake up. And I continued having coaching sessions on Skype with him for two years. It was very helpful. And after those two years, I have continued doing work on my own. So I can say that I took the process of embodiment, which is what is called the process after awakening, embodying the awakening, into the bones, into your bones, getting rid of all the stuff that is, should not be there. Then I continue eliminating, letting go, that's better, letting go parts of that psychic mass. And I'm very happy that I, that I have done that. So in the Brain Optimization Institute, we offer a specific course about embodiment. It's about 80-90% about embodiment and it's called psychology of consciousness with emphasis in non-duality. If you have awakened, consider that course. It's very effective to help you gain tools and methods and understanding to, do, to go through this process. If you haven't awakened, the course offers you the possibility to do that during the first two, three classes and uh, through the awakening protocol, which we offer also in an independent way uh, in our website. Our website is brainoptimization.com. The course that I'm talking about is psychology of consciousness with emphasis in non-duality. And uh, the awakening system that we use is called the Awakening Protocol. And the Awakening Protocol is very unique in the sense that it triggers the awakening by looking carefully into your human experience. It's not about having a spiritual experience. It's a serious looking into your human experience and guided because you, you cannot do such a level of introspection on your own. It's impossible. You need a teacher that has already gone through that and through the awakening. 
So it's a guided introspection, step by step, guided introspection until you get it. What do you get? That the little self that is supposed to be there is a story. And that there is consciousness looking through your eyes. Right, right now, it's happening already. So the embodiment process that comes after awakening is a long process. Uh, but it's much easier than being a seeker before awakening. And it can be fun. It can be uh, enjoyable. Uh, it can be, of course, much easier, much, uh, much more relaxed uh, after awakening. Because you know that you're not working anymore on you. You know that all the work that is being done is on that thing called the mind-body organism that you used to call you, but now during the awakening you saw clearly that it is not you. So uh, the rest of the work that is done after awakening is done never on you, but on the mind-body organism. And then there is detachment, and that detachment allows you to do the work very fast. In fact, the process of um, thinning or reducing the ego increases exponentially after awakening. It's very difficult to reduce the ego when you are identified with that thing. It's painful. You, 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 you are imagining that every time a chunk of your ego is gone, like a part of me is gone. And it's not true. But after awakening, you have realized that the mind-body organism is not you, the ego is not you, and then a part of the ego needs to go and you are happy, right? There is detachment. So this accelerates the process of healing of the mind-body organism and, and reduction of the of the ego exponentially. So it's the time, it's, it's an invaluable time after awakening to, to finish the job. Okay, I hope this helps to make it more clear what the embodiment process is about, what happens after awakening and uh, good luck to you.